Bernard, where are we? Oh, at the North Pole. Must be the Must North, the North Pole. No one would ever put a sign saying North Pole where it wasn't the word North Pole. Or would they? <laughs> or would they? Um, as the central story might be your search for warm clothing, I need to have your name. Um. Anna. Anna's search for warm clothing. Is Father Christmas in the grotto at the North Pole? Come out, come out wherever you are. He's very sweet. Can he be on film or not? Yeah, yeah, that's from Mama. <laughs> yeah? Come here. Some... You heard ho, ho, ho. <gasps> ho, ho, ho. Did you hear ho, ho, ho? Excellent. Who might that be? Father Christmas. I think he's very busy somewhere and he's probably not here. Oh, really? But we can have a look. Let's Should we have see. A look? Should we go and see? Have you enjoyed this evening? You enjoyed it. On that ride, I enjoyed meeting a mother and child. I didn't even give my name to them, which was rude. If you want to, I don't know, I don't know his name. However, the feelings, oh, should I call it feelings? Feelings I felt for him um, were equivalent to those I feel for Finn from a long time ago. Uh, my first girlfriend's son. So that's significant. And I set about trying to befriend this Anna on Facebook. A dangerous tool. It's very easy to make a click that will be interpreted very negatively. And that very negative click I made after asking for Anna's friendship uh, no, probably before asking for a friendship, it was to ask for a sister's friendship. So what probably ensued was communication between sisters saying, why is someone from Hastings, who isn't even a friend of yours, asked to be my friend? To which the only logical reply is, he's stalking me, he's a nutter, and I'm not going to be his friend, so don't you be his friend either. So I've not heard back from Anna, and... Well, you can't see my eyes, but a lot of potential was just thrown away very quickly. I don't actually, I don't know whether she's a single mum. I guess she was a single mum. But what was important in all this was that my heart was bigger and that it was able to imagine giving, not just taking. It was really willing to give. And uh, it was something that I needed to act responsibly with. Hope I haven't embarrassed her. Don't think I have. I want to ride that wave well. So, the next part of this. God, I'm not sure I can remember it day by day. Sunday. Ten. The highlight of Sunday was going out and seeing my friends, the Gidlows. Um, so engaging in family, in family life, having good discussion. Um, actually, I didn't engage in family life. I asked the children to leave, and they were more behaved in so doing than uh, with me than with their parents. Um, thank you, Ellie. So. Um, what did we talk about? Well, the thing that got my goat was the language that my friend and biographer Chris used about my Israeli friend, not because he's Israeli, sorry, his Israeli friend Saar. Um, people just aren't familiar with the name Saar, S-A-A-R, um, to whom I lent a significant sum of money. Um, so, this is actually causing quite a rift between Chris and I. 
um, let alone what it's doing for Saar. So watch this space for how that unfolds. I told Chris for the first time that I was calling this money this accursed money. He's alighted on that, but he's thrown it back at me in ways that have really not met my needs. So we'll get to that, but we'll do it sequentially. Monday, having found that Tony Robinson had favourited one of my tweets, that's Tony Robinson from Time Team, um, in response to the previous week's um, program about the, re the battlefield site for the Battle of Hastings, um, I ended up going to Pevensey and making a film which I edited three times to try and get a good enough brief version that asks the central outstanding question that I have, which is, why does the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle says that the Normans landed at Hastings and the Norman version say that they landed at Pevensey? Um, there's a few layers to this, so, sorry, but I'll, that's, all I'll, that's all I'll say as to why it's a significant and everything, why I might be interested in it. Um, yeah, I'll just have to leave that. Um, then I got on a train and got up to Canterbury to see my dad and had the carpet firmly pulled from underneath me. So not only did I have a crush of uh, romance that's denied me sleep, I then had uh, a total sense of lack of security in what I'd been agreed in the, in the family that I was to become custodian of the house after my dad's death whilst uh, sorting out its sale stroke rental. Not, yeah, we can't even get to discussing the, the price at which rental would be more sensible than, than, than sale. Um, so, yeah, my dad had withdrawn what he had said was the only sensible thing, that I'm the only one who could be custodian. He, he he still kind of knows that, but the pressure from, or sorry, it's not, it's a loaded word to say pressure. The way in which my brother and sisters, the other way around, brothers and sister, have expressed their views to dad on this issue, have meant that he was just going to say, Paul, you haven't got this one, you've lost this one. And so, if I think that I might be thrown out of the house, and I do treat, treat it as a home from home, I might be thrown out of the house um, the day after when Dad dies kind of thing, because the lawyers know about the family dispute. I have no sense of security in, in Canterbury. As a Buddhist, that should be a wonderful blessing to be, have the rug pulled away from me and have to learn how to live without security. But as a fairly weak human being at times, I think, well, I can't make friendships in Canterbury and develop in Canterbury um, if I think if I haven't got a sense that watcher that I'll be in Canterbury for at least six months from now, and, and that'd be a rolling six months from now. Yeah, I like the idea that I can meet someone, and I know that I will have a base in Canterbury for the next six months. But if not, if I'm not custodian, I don't know that. And the family's throwing more money in the direction of the lawyers and causing more family expense. But it's not thinking, you know, with my rental. We're not, it's not thinking of the, as a family. It's not working as a, as a unit. It gets my goat. And, yeah, it's because the vibrational level, this is what I've learned this week, the vibrational level... Well, I'm going to say the fact there are too many mini tremors shaking the whole landscape and such that people can't see the wood from the trees. Is it wood for the trees or wood from the trees? Anyhow, no, they can't actually see the rungs of the ladder up the cliff face. Yeah. They can't, yeah. They can't see this. They, they can't see the steps from the escalator. I don't know. It's something to do with there's being an easy route to climb and a hard route to climb, and a, and a descent. Yeah. 
they can't follow the path. I'll have to play the metaphor later. It's taking too much of your time. And thank you for giving me this time if you are. But if you're Paul, um, I I don't know whether to thank you or not. I should just be kind. Just be kind. Tuesday, quite a lot to talk through with Dad. Um, you know, where he got it about how upset I was. And f- yeah, and then things might change. He was trying to appease me. He was going to write to the lawyers, but it wasn't going to be a clear message. He's just he keeps wanting to he keeps wanting to reach a particular point, and yet he keeps not accepting the viability of the mediation route. So I get pissed off with this. Oh dear. Um. <coughs> Yeah, I yeah, do actually have quite a lot of anger and rage. But I suppress it. Or, you know, I can become a bit passive aggressive to Dad or something, and I think he commented on that. But, well, it's sad. And I'm working on that with my therapist. I, I, I'm just frustrated. And I showed it in the committee meeting. Um, at people working in an inefficient manner, and of course, who am I to say what's an inefficient manner? Well, I could evidence it with research if I had any confidence that that would that that would be uh, taken as a basis to change. What's the point of doing the research if there's no other alternative method proposed? Um, and that the research isn't going to prove the basis to change at all. I hope you can bear with this, Paul, this film, because I'm just sleep deprived of not being succinct enough. But it's important to get something down. Wednesday, um, Ben uh, came up to meet me. I mean, we met briefly on, on Monday. Um, and Ben is a Zogchen practitioner who um, once wanted to be my friend and I realised that he needed employment and I needed someone to help me and uh, over the course of the week um, from Wednesday onwards